Right guys, so welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War. So we've got something a little bit different today. I think we're going to go way back in time to before the war began. So this here is the battle map. This is the battle map before everything happened. So as you can see, there's no front lines. There's absolutely no damage to the map whatsoever. Everything's green, everything's beautiful. So, and this right here is neutral territory. This is the Great Separation. And I've got a bit of a story to tell you all today. Because I've had a lot of comments and I've had a lot of direct messages as well. Asking, how did the war begin, Mighty? So, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to read you a little story. So, this is episode one. So this is before everything happened. So this is, gonna, we're going to talk about all three of, um, all three of the factions that were at the beginning of the series. So, the Tans are rich and overpopulated. They're also angry. This is because of a trade agreement between the Greens and the Reds. The Green and the Red factions have been sharing the plastic waste in the Great Separation now for quite some time. So the Greens and the Reds, they have this treaty where they share plastic and they've kind of took control of all of the neutral mines out in the Great Separation and they've not cut, they never cut the Tans in because the Greens and the Reds thought that the Tans were kind of self-sustainable because they do have two houses. They've got this big house here and they have this little house right here. So as you can see, the Tans have been mass producing troops and overspending their plastic. And they're very angry. So what they did was they overused their plastic, like I just said. And General Tannenberg feels that he's being bullied uh, by the Reds and the Greens and begins to threaten the Greens and the Reds if they do not share their resources. So he pretty much said, Tannenberg was like, if you don't share your resources with me, you're going to regret it. You really are. So Tannenberg then, uh, well, the Greens and the Reds, they, they both laughed at the Tans and says, yeah, whatever, Tannenberg, we don't care. It's our plastic. You've got enough plastic over there. So that's the story of the Tans so far. So now we're going to go over to the Blues. So this is Blue Territory. This is the diner. And meanwhile, in the nearby Blue Territory, a civil war rages on. So it's between the Monarchists and the Anarchists. So you can clearly see them here. You can see the Queen right there before she was captured. And you can see her guard, the Royal Guard, which are a different kind of blue. Uh, the Royal... it's like a Royal Blue. I'll get, a, I'll get a picture of the flag up right here. So, As you can see on the flag, you've got the circle, which uh, represents the protection of the crown, which is in the centre. And then you've got like the diagonal line of the two shades of blue. And the two shades of the blue are the army and the monarchists. So the army and the monarchists, they're kind of like allied. But in this case, the newly coronated queen she was very greedy, and she's quite mean to be honest, but very, very greedy person, because the king just died, you see. And the army and the civilians, they didn't like their new queen. In fact, they hated her, they wanted her out of power. So they voted for an election, which the queen, the love for the monarchy dwindles and revolution breaks out, threatening the queen's life. And the queen is forced to hold an election, which will threaten her totalitarian control of her state, which she does not want. I mean, she's a greedy queen. A nice queen, they still love their monarchy, the Blues do, they're very nice people. But they can't have this queen in power anymore because she's just not good for the people. So war breaks out, and the monarchists here start fighting against the army. So the queen then decides, right, I need to do something. So she does. A, she makes a deal with Tannenberg, who is over here, look. Uh, he should be at the back there, look, there's Tannenberg. And she makes a deal with Tannenberg, and she is smuggled out of Blue Territory without even her royal cabinet knowing... So let's grab her. So we're going to move the queen over here into Tan territory. She's, she's snuck out during the night and she's well looked after in Tan territory. But in return, she has to give the Tans, she, she gives the Tans, let's have a look. So I'm just reading from a, a piece of paper here. So she takes, uh, she gives control of the Tans, uh, a non-aggression pact. She also gives them military land access and a trade agreement. So Tannenberg, as cunning as he is, takes full advantage of this deal. So that's all good for the Tans. And now, with the Blues in full confusion about what's going on, hey, what Tannenberg now knows that the Blues are going to be no threat for the oncoming war. So Tannenberg then he orders a complete capture of all the neutral mines in the Great Separation. So the Reds and the the, the Reds and the Greens they both underestimate the Tans. And he moved out this massive, vast army. Just unselect the queen there. 
into this territory and you march them out just like a, a bit like what they did in World War One kind of a massive build up of troops and a lot of tension and they kind of just kind of took over everywhere that was a that right there is the fifth rifle division they were in place to protect the spiders from getting out so these had a bit of diplomatic immunity so the tans took all, ugh, the tans took full control of these mines right here and the tans took full control of these mines right here and then they decided let's start you know smashing these lines up a bit they created front lines which i'm not going to do fully i'll give you an idea and so we'll put some men there and they blockaded uh they blockaded the reds they blockaded the greens and prepared for an attack so then the greens were like oh god what's going on here and you can see right here this is where episode one began let's just unselect that there we go make it look a bit more realistic so there's commander green right there and there's his two diff two uh, companies so they quickly rushed out of their house, built their factories, and awaited the oncoming tan attack from where they blew a gap in the fence right here. And then the tans came. They came in heavy numbers. So that there, guys, is how the war began. So as you all now know that the queen, now we know where the location of the queen is, I could reveal these sort of details. But, uh, the queen actually made a deal with Tannenberg so she could save her own sorry ass. And in return, Tannenberg actually did send some of his troops down there as well. So because they have like a non-aggression pact and military access, he marched his troops in. And eventually, he completely crushed the anarchists. Which are these guys right there. Reinstated full control to the monarchists. Which are right there. Even though they still think their, their queen has been kidnapped. They have no choice but to get on with the tans because of uh, them threatening the queen's life. So now the queen can come back. But then Tannenberg says, nope, you can't go back. Not now the war started. So now he is actually hold, holding, holding, holding her captive. So it starts off as a staged kidnapping, but then becomes a real kidnapping. So that's pretty much the story of how the war started. So you have to tell me in the comments what you think. I think it's quite a creative way uh, to uh, tell the story, to be honest, in this battle map. But you have to tell me what you think in the comments and tell me anything you want to add or... Anything like that, I think I'm going to be creating a roleplay website soon. And we're going to be starting Series 2 as well. But we've got a few more episodes of Series 1 to go yet. I need to find out whether or not the uh, the greens and the reds can actually capture the queen. Oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Uh, just a quick video, quick update video. And do hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Do hit that subscribe button too. And I'll see you all in the next episode.